friends. Because I live minimally and I'm mindful about the products I use in my home and on my body, I started hand making my own body lotion out of simple organic ingredients about five years ago. So I've had a few people ask me for this recipe, so I thought today I would share with you step-by-step step how I make this amazing, easy body lotion. I fell in love with this body lotion. It is the most moisturizing, smooth, feels amazing lotion I have ever used. It's made from simple, organic ingredients that you can just order off of Amazon. I'll leave a link below for you. It's cost effective and it takes hardly any time to make it all and it's long lasting. Before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you'd help me out, click subscribe and like. It really helps my channel grow. Thanks. All ingredients should be unrefined and organic. So these are the ones I use, although you can use a lot of different variations. I use coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and you can choose any essential oil you enjoy. I like lavender. The other things that you will need is an immersion blender, but you can also use just a standard countertop blender, a whisk, or if you are living off grid, you can just put a lid on your container and shake it like crazy. It works just the same. One third cup measuring and a cutting board. And then of course, a mason jar. Then you can choose which container that you would like to put your lotion at the end. I just use these really cute little blue mason jars with silver lids because I like them. <laughs> I start with one third cup unrefined organic coconut oil. And I just put that right into my wide mouth mason jar. Next, I shave off some of my unrefined organic cocoa butter. It's really firm. And so what I do is I just put it on a cutting board, use a knife, and I just shave off one third cup. And then I just add the one third cup into the wide mouth jar. Then I use a third cup of organic shea butter. Now, the shea butter is really soft, so you can just cut or spoon a little piece off. It almost has the consistency of like peanut butter. And then you just add the one third cup shea butter into your wide mouth jar. And you can choose which essential oil you would like to use. I really like lavender. I like the way it smells, the way it feels on my skin. But I will tell you that the cocoa butter already smells like chocolate. So um, you could add something, a fragrance that you feel like might work well with a chocolate scent. It's up to you how much you want to add. I put it in a dropper full, which is probably about a fourth of a teaspoon. But again, completely up to you. Maybe start with just a few drops because you can always add more later. So now you have your four ingredients in your wide mouth mason jar, and you can use any glass jar uh, that you choose. I bring a pot of water to a simmer, and then I just put in all of my cocoa butter mixture in there. It kind of works like a double broiler and I'm just leaving it in there until it melts. Doesn't take very long at all. After only two minutes, it's almost all the way melted. Once it's completely melted, you can take it out, just set it on your counter and let it cool. If you are impatient and you want it to cool down a little quicker, you can create an ice bath for it. 
and let it set in there. And that shortens the waiting time a little bit. So to kind of help it cool down a little bit, you can stir it while it's in the ice bath and it will start to thicken a little bit as it cools. And then once it's cooled down, where it's starting to get a little thicker again, then you can mix it with your immersion blender. And you'll see it will start to lighten in color and get thicker and thicker. And there you go. So a helpful hint is if you're having a hard time getting it thicker, it's probably because it's not cooled off enough. So if that's the case, just go ahead and put it back into your ice bath and you can stir it around with a spoon or a fork and kind of help um, get all the sides a little bit cooler and then go ahead and mix it again. Helpful tip. Once it's all mixed up in the consistency that you want, you just go ahead and put it into one of your jars. And because it has coconut oil and the heavy butters, I don't use this on my face because it can clog pores, but it's great for the body, but probably not the face. And with those measurements, you get two four ounce jars. So that's enough for my daughter and my husband and I. And there is your body lotion. Um, it's smooth, it's amazing. It is some of the best, most moisturizing lotion I've ever used. And there you have it, it's that simple. And now you have my recipe that I use for my handmade body lotion. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and check out some of these other videos on mindful living.